When you have baby snakes, people sometimes call them litters. Well, you know what? They're sometimes right. So when they have eggs, it's called a clutch of eggs. But when they have live babies, it's called a litter of babies. So isn't that funny? Just like a cat has a litter of kittens, right? And a chicken lays a clutch of eggs. Actually, I don't know what a chicken lays. They just lay one egg here, one egg there, one egg there. And then the crazy thing, they can lay eggs for like two, three weeks and then sit on them at the end of the two or three weeks and all of them hatch at the same time. That's pretty crazy. Snakes, not that way. They'd be dead if mom didn't protect them and keep their temperature, even though a snake is cold blooded. So what we got here is like this snake here is in the same situation this snake is in, except this one came a little bit prematurely, so it's sitting inside of its, its embryonic sac. It didn't break itself out. It actually stuck its head out, which it has to. And the egg, you can see right there, the yolk is right there. Well, look at this. We know for sure this one. I was just looking at it. So look at this. This one's cut open, right? And then look what it's doing. It's sitting around sucking up its yolk. So they're literally identical. It's got veins there. This one's got veins on its yolk. This one's sitting inside of an egg, but actually... It has an embryonic sac just like this has, but it's it's not called an embryonic sac because it's not an embryo, right? I mean, it is an embryo, but I don't think it's called it. There's a sac that's around this that you can actually see it's, it's still stuck right there. But look at this. This is kind of cool. I was noticing. So this one right here was just like that one this morning. And you see that right there? That's the embryonic sac. Let's see if we can get it. She's running. <laughs> So you see, this is the, actually the embryonic sac that it crawled out of right there. See that? So I don't think I'm going to be able to, my big fat fingers, get it to open up. It was I had hoped that I was going to open it up and show you how cool it is. So it's actually attached to the, to the, to the uh, umbilical cord. And then look. Let's see if I can, how much I can get. Is this gross, guys, or what? I don't know. She took off like it was. She better not ever have kids. <laughs> <laughs> then you'll see something really crazy. I've been there. <laughs> so anyway, that little thing, that whole snake came out of. I can stick it over my finger, but I can't really get it to. I can't get it to open up off my finger. There it is. See, so my finger is completely surrounded by it. See, so that snake crawled out of that, and that snake's still in it. So it's kind of crazy and yuck. It is kind of slimy, and yes, it is kind of cool. So what do you guys think? Is that cool or not? That's great. <laughs> So now you know a whole bunch more about clutches and litters when it comes to snakes. And of course, there's, of course, the, the clutches come from all kinds of snakes. They say 75% of snakes lay eggs. You guys can Google it and probably find 400 different answers. But we'll just say 75% uh, lay eggs, and then the rest of them are live birth like that. So pretty interesting. And these are boas. And the funny part about boas is people have a myth they think that all boas are live bears not true because they're sand boas that, that lay eggs and uh, I'm sure there's more boas than that if I look hard enough and pythons I can't think of any pythons that have live birth but hey Google it and let me know down below take care guys